Hello, and welcome to our tutorial on WSO2 API Cloud, the fastest way to publish your APIs on the internet. Sometimes you want your public API to be different from the back end that you have behind the gateway. Luckily, WSO2 API Cloud has a powerful transformation engine that can efficiently modify the requests and responses on the fly. In this tutorial, we will create a weather API based on the Yahoo service. However, unlike the somewhat confusing Yahoo query language, we can define a very simple REST interface with just the country and zip code specified in the request URL. Now let's copy the sample invocation URL from the Yahoo console to a text window and work with it to make it work for our new API. First, let's copy the base URL of the Yahoo service. Paste it as our API backend URL and publish the API. Now we open WSO2 Developer Studio to create the sequence that would transform our public API call format to the backend one that Yahoo exposes. We create a project and a sequence in it. The sequence will have two property mediators. The first mediator will create the YQL property, which will be a string to be used in the backend call to Yahoo. Again, we will use the text editor to make it easier to follow what we are doing. We concatenate the string that Yahoo requires with the parameters from the API invocation. The first segment is the Yahoo call up until zip code. We then extract the zip code value from the API call by using the get property synapse function and telling it to give us the zip code variable from the URI. After that, we add the comma that Yahoo requires, then another synapse function to extract the country variable. and then the closing part of the Yahoo call. Finally, we copy the expression and paste it as the value expression of the mediator. Now we add another property mediator that will put the string that we created into the backend call. We give it a name of REST URL postfix, which is the HTTP transport property that gets appended to the address endpoint URL. and we set the value to the property that we formed in the first property mediator. Now we need to upload this project to the gateway to make it available to our APIs. We log in to the Gateway Management Console using the fully qualified name that we can copy from the publisher, We browse the registry resources and navigate to system slash governance slash API management slash custom sequences. We go into the in collection because this sequence is for the API request direction. We click add resource and upload the XML file of the sequence configuration we created before and add it. Once we add the sequence, it may take up to 15 minutes until it is deployed into the publisher. After 15 minutes, we go to the publisher and edit the API that we created earlier. On the Manage page, we click Sequences and select the sequence we added from the inflow. Now we just need to save and publish the updated API. Now we can go to the API store. We subscribe to our new weather API and generate the access keys. We can now invoke our new API using the authorization key and the simple REST URL that we decided to use for the API. As you can see, it works and returns the proper response from Yahoo.
In this tutorial, we used WSO2 API Cloud's powerful transformation engine to hide the complexity of the backend URL and expose the functionality in a simple and intuitive API. To learn more and sign up for WSO2 API Cloud, go to wso2.com forward slash cloud.